Welcome to the Exact Contact tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will show you how to modify the pages and page content on your Exact Contact Agent website. Your website comes preloaded with a number of pages with professionally written real estate specific content that we provide for you right out of the box. It is entirely up to you how much you choose to modify this preloaded content. You can leave it as is, make changes to the content in order to make it your own, or replace it all with your own content. Remember that the more you make your content unique and include relevant real estate specific keywords and copy, the more your site will be found by search engines such as Google. To manage your page content, log in to your website control panel and select the Pages option in the left menu. Here, all of your site's pages are listed. Those pages with a hyphen before the page name are parented to the page above, meaning they appear in the secondary menu under the primary menu item. In this case, arrange financing, closing the sale, making an offer, etc., all the way down to viewing homes are in the secondary menu under the main buying menu. With the exception of one or two pages, for example, the thank you page, which only appears after a visitor to your site fills out a lead capture form, all of the pages have corresponding site menu items that link to the page. To modify the content on a page, start by clicking the page name. You are taken to the page editor where you can modify the page title and the page content. Use the main editor area to add, edit, or delete text and use the menu bar buttons in the top, sorry, at the top of the editor to format the text. You can add bulleted or numbered lists. You can indent the text. You can add hyperlinks, etc. While the text font cannot be changed, you can set the font size by highlighting a section of text and selecting either paragraph for regular size text or one of the headings in order to format the text as a title. If you want to add a picture in the page, simply place the cursor where you would like to add the picture and click the Add Media button at the top of the editor. You are presented with your media library, which is your own personal storage area where you can upload picture files for use in various places on your website. You can either select a picture that you have previously uploaded or to upload a new picture from your computer, click the Upload Files tab, click the Select Files button, select the picture from your computer, and click Open. Once the file has been uploaded and displays in your media library, simply click the Insert Into Page button at the bottom right corner of the page, and <clears throat> the picture is inserted into your page. To remove a picture from a page, simply click to select the picture and press the Delete key. You can also add a YouTube video to a page very easily. Simply go to YouTube and open the video Do you want to add. Copy the full video web address from the browser address bar. Right click and copy. Return to your website control panel and paste the address into the page. You will see that an embedded video that can be clicked on to play right in the page is automatically added. Once you have finished making changes to your page, you can preview your changes by clicking the Preview Changes button at the top right. This allows you to preview your changes before actually publishing them to your site. There's my page and there's my embedded YouTube video that I can play right in the page. Once you are satisfied with, the, with your updated page, click the Update button to update your actual site. 
and click all pages to the left in order to return to the pages list. If you want to add a new page to your website, start by clicking the Add New button in the left menu under Pages. Start by entering the page title. The page title is also the label given to the new menu item for the page, so you should keep it relatively short. Next, enter your page content below using the text editor. I'm going to copy the copy from a document that I've created with the page content and paste it into the editor. Add any pictures or videos that you want to include on the page. To add a page to the site menu system, under Page Attributes to the right, select the desired primary menu item page as the parent. I'm going to add this to the buying menu. If you do not select a parent for the page, the page will not be accessible to site visitors from the site menu system. Also, be sure to select a page that is a top-level menu item as only two levels of menu items are supported. Once again, you can preview the page before publishing it by clicking the Preview button in the top right corner. Looks good. When you are ready to publish the page, press the Publish button. And if we refresh the site, the new page is added to the primary menu option that we selected as the parent. To remove a page from the site, simply return to the pages list Hover over the page name in the Pages list and click the Trash link. If you wish to restore a deleted page, the page can be found in the, trash, in the Pages Trash list. To access this list, click Trash at the top of the Pages list and if you wish to restore the page, Hover over the page name and click the Restore link. If you need to make changes to the site menu system over and above what is automatically set in the Pages area, you can do this by selecting the Menus option under Theme Options in the left menu. The right side of the page displays the current menu structure. You can drag and drop menu items in order to change the order of the menus. For instance, if I wish to take my new About Inspections page and drag it directly under the Buying menu, I click it, hold it, and drag it above the Selecting an Agent page. You can also change the menu, the menu item labels by selecting the arrow next to the page name and changing the navigation label. I will change About Inspections to Inspections. You can also add a page to the menu system by checking off the page name in the Pages list to the, list to the left and clicking the Add to Menu button. The page is added to the bottom of the menu and you can use the methods described above in order to drag it up to a different position in the menu system. In order to delete a menu item completely, select the arrow next to the page name and click the Remove link. Once you have made all the desired changes to the menu system, be sure to click the Save Menu button. Your website will automatically be updated to reflect your changes. If I refresh the, buy, the, the page, the inspections, page has now been moved to the top of the buying menu with a label of inspections. You now know how to use the pages and menu sections in your website control panel in order to further customize your agent website content.